Good morning, everybody. Coming up on 1114 on a Tuesday uh, morning, and we've got blue sky and sunshine here. Don't get used to this. Uh, we are going to see the clouds gradually thicken as we head through the afternoon hours, but it's nice to see the sunshine and that will help boost our temperatures about 10 degrees warmer than they were yesterday. And then as we get into probably 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight and through the overnight hours, some rain develops, maybe some freezing rain, some sleet. Winter weather advisories have already been posted for some of our area. I'll show you those here in just a second. And then despite the fact that we may have some icing and some freezing rain overnight, tomorrow is going to be breezy, going to be off and on rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder and up near 60 degrees from Grand Rapids down to the south. So it is a tale of two different worlds. And speaking of that, you can see the diagonal configuration here uh, across uh, our heart, uh, the heart of our Fox 17 viewing area. All of these counties that are shaded in purple are under winter weather advisories. For most of our area, they start at 8 o'clock tonight and they go through 10 a.m. tomorrow. These are the locations where we would expect to see some freezing rain, some sleet and some snow through the overnight hours. In these areas, across a lot of our Fox 17 viewing area there, probably Probably about a tenth of an inch, maybe only a few hundredths of an inch of icing. And then as you get up into central lower Michigan and our northern counties, Oceana, Nuego, Macosta, Montcalm, they may see maybe a two tenths of an inch, a quarter of an inch of icing will be possible there. And if you're looking down to the south of Grand Rapids and you're not under an advisory, it's going to be mainly liquid precipitation. Could even be a few rumbles of thunder. All of that unfolds later this evening through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. And then all of us will see the change over to rain because we're going to warm up enough through the day tomorrow. I don't have anything on radar right now. We are dry. Temperatures are slow to move today, but it is nice to see that sunshine. We're 29 up there in Big Rapids, 30 in Grand Rapids, 34 in Benton Harbor. And as we look back at the last uh, six hours of clouds and radar movement, pull out to a wider perspective. What's continuing to unfold is this precipitation. You could almost see it as it moves this way. There's lift in the atmosphere. Precipitation will unfold here. It will move our way, and that's what will come in here as we go through the later evening and the overnight hours. And we believe that pink precipitation that you'll see on radar is going to be the freezing rain and that's our concern especially from Grand Rapids to the north and east overnight. So we've got sunshine right now but the clouds will gradually thicken and lower through the afternoon hours. It will be a bit warmer than yesterday by about 10 degrees. I think we'll get into the lower 40s with a wind eventually turning southeast at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. There's the high pressure area. That's what's given us the sunshine that moves to the east. That will open the door for the clouds to thicken up and see the precipitation forming out here ahead of our next storm system. This is at 6 p.m. So around the dinner hour. We're still dry. Watch what happens as we go into the evening hours and I'll run this through till about midnight. See that strip or that stripe of pink that is freezing rain, some sleet, some snow, especially from Grand Rapids off to the north, northeast and southeast. Uh, that's why those winter weather advisories are in effect in the configuration and the way they look, uh, uh, how I just showed you. And that goes all the way down to around, uh, uh, we'll say Jackson, Lansing, over to the Detroit area as well. As we go through the overnight hours, that freezing rain kind of shifts up to our northern counties. And that's why we're expecting the potential of the heaviest freezing rain, maybe up to a quarter of an inch across central lower Michigan. But we'll start already changing over to rain across a lot of our area by the time we get in about 6, 7 o'clock. This warm front lifts into the area, so we get nudged into that milder air through the day on Wednesday with temperatures from Grand Rapids of the south about 60 65 degrees and that low moves right overhead. Uh, our warmest temperatures on Thursday will be right after midnight in the 50s because by the time we get to 6 a.m. on Thursday we've got colder air funneling in here may still see some lingering showers and then maybe some snow showers behind that with the colder air for the second part of Thursday but little to no accumulation. Now what about the ice accumulation? Well with this system you can see the configuration is diagonally right right through the area, just like the advisories are set up. We think anywhere from maybe a tenth to two tenths of an inch, maybe up to a quarter of an inch across our northern counties of icing. The potential, the possibility will be there later this evening and through the overnight hours, so it will impact your Wednesday morning commute. How much liquid precipitation are we talking from this storm system in this event? By the time this wraps up later on Thursday, our European forecast model, which I think has a pretty good handle on things, looks like about an inch, inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. The other thing is going to be the wind. This is at 6 p.m. Notice the colors ramp up. These numbers ramp up. They're tied together. These are wind speeds in miles per hour, and those will ramp up as we go into midnight through the overnight hours at 6 a.m. tomorrow. They're still strong, and they'll still be somewhat brisk through the day 
on uh, Wednesday as well. So that's the other th thing that this system is going to bring with it. 43 degrees today, dry through the daytime hours, but nighttime rain and freezing rain possible. Maybe even a rumble of thunder in there as well. Then the possibility of the overnight icing in those areas we just talked about going into early Wednesday, but throughout the day on Wednesday, off and on rain likely, maybe some rumbles of thunder. Breezy, highs around 60 degrees. Thursday, we're 55 around or shortly after midnight, and then the temperatures will fall into the 40s throughout the day. Any rain may mix with and change over to snow showers, but little to no accumulation. Friday, snow showers, maybe some flurries, partly sunny, cooler, 38 degrees there. And by the time we get into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we are in the mid to upper 40s at that time. So we're at least climbing back to almost normal. 50 degrees is normal for this time of the year. And one other thing, if you want any more information on any of the things we just talked about or those graphics I just showed, go to fox17online.com. We've got a banner posted at the top, and that is our top story this morning. Rob?